this week I am joined by the one, the only, Anthony Padilla. Hi, thank hey. you so much. Yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah. Anthony, for those who may not know, um, tell, tell the internet a little bit about yourself. I've been doing YouTube for way too long. How many years? Uh, t I, 12 years on November 19th. Yeah. I didn't even know YouTube was 12 years old. Yeah. So what fragments of your soul are left? Really none. Just very few? Very few, yeah. That's good, that's good. Uh, I created Smosh with my best friend 12 years ago, and I just recently split off to do my own thing now, Anthony Padilla. Very, Anthony very Padilla. clever name. Have you figured out what your like, one-liner about yourself is? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'll never figure it out. <laughs> because you've been working so hard for the last 12 years, I've invited you here to do something relaxing. Ooh. Today, yeah, get ready. What is it? We're gonna put this stuff on our faces. What? It, what is this stuff? It's a carbonated bubble clay mask. Bubble clay? It has a pig with a clay mask on. on it. Yeah, that's how you know it's a good, good. <laughs> yeah. The idea behind this is that I guess it kind of carbonates on your skin. What does that mean? We're gonna find out. It feels like there's something gently tickling my face. Uh, it but feels like bugs are crawling on my face right It's now. not firm enough yeah. to be something you can ignore. Because mm -hmm. it like comes in and out. Mm -hmm. I do not like this feeling at all. To distract ourselves from the itching, uh, product review, soup's itchy. Uh -huh. We're gonna play uh, Would You Rather. And maybe because we're kind of in a sense of discomfort, yeah, yeah. we'll be even be more, more honest. honest. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do Would You Rather dating. Would you rather date someone who you really, really liked with the knowledge that your relationship would end soon because they were going away to like a distant country with no Wi-Fi? Or... <laughs> I like how Wi-Fi is in this screen. I mean, you know, like what <laughs> That's is... That's true, that's true, yeah. I like also, I think that the bubbles are just flying uh -huh. off of our faces. Uh -huh. Or date someone who you feel just okay about, but they're, you know, super convenient. <laughs> Can you imagine if I chose that second one? Why too easy? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I just want someone to be around because I'm lonely. No, of course. I think that it would be dating someone that you have a really strong personal connection with, even if they're going to leave. I'd rather have a little bit of amazing than a lot of hmm. What are you a fan of? Are you like an anime guy? Are you like a video game guy? I was a really big fan of like all things Nintendo growing up. Okay. Got it. Okay. I'm out next. Would you rather? Charles, someone's just using the bathroom, dude. Someone's just pooping. Yeah, somebody's just pooping back there. Yeah. Uh, would you rather date someone who hates video games and can't stand to talk about it, <laughs> or date someone who is so obsessed with video games it's actually kind of ruining it for you? Oh. That's a good one, right? That's a good one. Thank you. That's a good one. Um. Oh man. Ha -ha. See, I, I really like video games, but I feel like. If someone was just too obsessed, I'd rather just not have anything to do with it. You'd rather just be like, look, yeah. let's just not talk about yeah, video games. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather just play video games on my own. Yeah. My, I like to play single player games more anyway, you know. I'd say I'd rather date someone that hated video games. Okay, have yeah. you ever played The Last of Us? Yes! I love The Oh Last my god, have you seen The Last of Us 2 trailer? Yeah! All of them, I'm oh. obsessed. I'm so excited. New show, you have your beautiful thick eyelashes. You have little, little flecks of this bubble stuff. It you have such long eyelashes. Thank you. Wow. Yours are pretty. Don't, yeah, they're don't discount yours. Yeah, they're all right. Would you rather date someone? Would you rather date someone prettier than you? No. <laughs> <laughs> For your first date, would you rather do it at a quiet, romantic, yet expensive restaurant or a place that's really, really loud but super good and super cheap? First quiet, date. Quiet and romantic. Have you been on a bad date? Um. Not really, I don't really date. I don't really date. Every time we laugh, it just goes flying off our faces. I, I look like a really, really shitty Santa Claus. You do. I actually, oh, oh, I actually oh. feel like we look like some really bad special effects makeup. Yeah. yeah. This is a low budget movie. It looks like you're wearing really bad gladiator armor. It does. Yeah. We will, we will seek victory. Would you rather go to a beach type setting and like spend a week, you know, sipping drinks by the ocean? Uh -huh. Or to like a fun cabin type set setting where you can like horseback ride and shoot bows and arrows? Her first day. First trip. First trip, I yeah. mean. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say somewhere like the cabin where we could just chill and shoot. Well, it's not really chilling. 
It's like shooting bows and arrows, activities. horse soccer. I would rather do the activities because I think that says a lot more about a person. And I feel like when you're going on that first big trip, you kind of want to get to know them. A hundred, I could not agree more. I completely agree. When you're first going on a trip with someone, things can get tense, airplanes get delayed, people forget items at home, and you spend every waking moment together, so it's probably pretty good to have some items planned. Yeah, and it kind of gives you a sense of that person for the first time mm -hmm. with their guard down mm -hmm. because they're under such stress. Nothing teaches you about a person like how they are at baggage claim. Oh, yeah. Would you rather date someone? You're in love. You have met the most amazing person in the world. This person is the one. Okay. This is the one. Okay. Would you rather they have six cats or one human child? Oh, wow. That's that's, ah. that's a good question. Hey. Oh. You've never met anyone like this person. You're guaranteed wow. to have a lifetime together. You love, you've never loved. I mean, it depends. It, okay, there's a lot of things that, that it, this is weighing on here. It's like, is the kid a good kid? Or is he just a complete asshole? I mean, there's so many. I think that they're just a child. They're just a child. The question is, are you ready to be a father? <laughs> well, is it a father to one human child or six cats? Yeah, either cat daddy times six. Six cats. I'd say, I'd say the child. I'd say the child. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm at the point in my life where I'd rather just be a father than have six cats running around the house at all times. You know what? I think that that's really fair. <laughs> what, what would you say? Me? Yeah, I mean, you're a cat lady. I'm a cat lady. So you, would you choose a six cat? I don't know. Because that's kind of, that's kind that's of That's a lot of right? cats. That's a lot. That's too, <laughs> sorry. That's too many cats. I guess I would take one human child really? too. Oh my god. Ooh. So happy though that that's not real. I was gonna ask, what do you think the most amount of cats is before it becomes a little excessive? I think that the most amount of cats before it becomes excessive. Two. Two? Anything more than two, it's like, it's a lot of cats. That's a lot of cats. That's a lot of cats at that point. Because cats need companions. And and they each need their own litter boxes mm -hmm. and Cats do better when you have a second cat in the house. That's that's true. And a human child, you use the same toilets. You don't have to, I don't know. To me, I'm like, I just don't want that many litter boxes. Do you have any younger siblings? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you use the same toilet. I, I've used the same toilet as them. Anthony Padilla on parenting. I would use the same toilet as a human child. Yeah. Okay, Anthony, thank you so much for being here. Are you so ready to wipe this I'm stuff? I'm so ready I'm so at this ready point, to, yeah. Okay, let's, you know what, let's wipe it and then do the end card. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. Oh, there's so much. It feels like there's more here than what I put on. Aww. I feel like my skin is as soft as a baby's butt. I'm not gonna lie, my skin feels incredible. It feels really good. Like, I want to touch myself right now. Well, I mean, you know, just give yourself like 20 minutes, get home, okay. light a candle. Sure. Uh, I'll wait? Okay. Yeah, just wait, I'll you wait. know? I mean, this is our first time collaborating. <sighs> wait till the second time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. It was an itchy process. Mm -hmm. I didn't love it. I didn't like the process. No. I didn't love the process. No. I do kind of feel like I can taste it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't. It doesn't taste or smell bad, but no. it's just it's just like chemicals. Just like chemicals, but at the same time, my skin feels incredible. I can't stop touching myself. Yeah, it's good. Well, Anthony, first and foremost, thank you so much. <laughs> well, Anthony, I'm just touching myself <laughs> constantly. You're just I can't stop. <laughs> You're like, there. oh no. Yeah. It feels like when you shave something for the first time and you're like, whoa, skin. Shave something? Mm -hmm. Next week on Manscaping. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Anthony, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much, Anna. If you guys want to check out more of Anthony's Anthony comedy <laughs> stylings, you know. That's how I label myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you want to peep this shiz, go ahead and click down in the description below. And if you like this video, click like. Please do. Yeah, it's been bad. It's been pretty good, right? It was fun. It was fun. I liked it. We I, got, liked I, got, it. I got some free spa treatment. Yeah, free spa <laughs> treatment. We learned about each other. We learned mm -hmm. about ourselves. Mm -hmm. I learned about how I want to touch myself now. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go do that. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great day. <laughs>